Okay, it's, it's a seventh Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, so you know, whatever. Um, so I figured I would answer the question many of you have asked, and that is why did I move and why did I move specifically to Spain? Um, so I moved because I was feeling very stuck um, and very unmotivated in the States. Um, and I needed a break. I needed, uh, I needed to kind of get out of that, that cacophony. Uh, and I, and many of you know, I went to Thailand back in August. And the initial thought on that was that I might move there because it's rated one of the happiest places to live in the world. And it's actually called the Land of Smiles, and that appealed to me. Um, however, in between, before I went to Thailand, I went on a vacation with my family, and we spent three nights in Barcelona, and I decided that this is where I wanted to be because I find it, I just find it really beautiful. The people are really nice. The um, It's just got a vibe for me that, 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 that drew me to it. So I'm here now and I'm going to be working on getting residency. Um, to say that I have moved here is a, let's call it a intention. But uh, there's things to do that I was not able to get done in the States. The Spanish Embassy never got back to me, or the consulate rather. It's, um, Yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to be working on all of that here. So if I don't end up in Barcelona for the long term, we'll know why. I'm in Barcelona now on my own. Richard has left. He is en route. And let's go. Okay. All set up for the cats. Going to call the taxi just in a minute here. Poor guys have been in a state, and here's here's their bowls. Look at their fancy food bowls. Ooh, wow. And then, you know, classic standard water bowl, because we wouldn't want them to get confused, because they're, you know, they're wine glasses. Very excited to go get Monroe and Super Larry. All right, guys, this is this is where um, my poor cats, this is where I'm going to get my cats there. Look at where we are. They are going through so much noise. I feel so bad. The office is all the way down here. So I'm still walking, but that's, again, what I do. This is not a small undertaking. She said, I need to go to Terminal 2. Oh boy. I gotta go over there to get something stamped and then come back to get my cats. So I went to Terminal 2A and somehow the vet um, information is missing. So now I have to go back to the building where I was before. These are some, I think it's 450 meet, <laughs> meters. So, um, you get your steps, even by accident. So I gotta go get some sort of vet, something or other. My sister worked very, very hard. I think everybody needs to give Nancy a big thumbs up for taking care of Super Larry and Monroe for five days and having to manhandle quite a bit of minutia. Um, so thanks, Nan. Thanks so much, Nan. You rule. This is taken forever. Bienvenidos a Barcelona, gatitos. Okay, well, honey, we're home. Soups is checking out. Oh, they're both checking out the boudoir. I mean, the, the turlet. Gonna be very cramped. You're like, fuck you, ho. You don't know about cramping sitting in them 
damn boxes for 40 hours. I mean, if you're gonna have a hot dog, might as well be a bimbo, right? What I'm essentially in, and what I did not realize, but that's okay. Life is a series of, but what I didn't realize is, so essentially I'm in a hotel room with, um, with a, <laughs> with a little table that I, I don't even sit at yet. I've worked in my bed all day. Um, and a kitchen <laughs> and, a, and a bathroom that kind of looked like a split screen. So I'm in the process of unpacking what I can. I have this, this big suitcase back here is, um, filled with now mostly summer clothes. And then what I have this suitcase that had kind of the rest of my stuff and then a suitcase inside that, which I have condensed, which is housing my shoes. Doesn't it look like the display at Saks Fifth Avenue? Don't it? That's all my shoe space. Oh, I guess I could go underneath. Oh yeah, she just doubled the shoe space. Doubled it up! Here's all of my jackets and coats because it's cold for me here. Um, so those are the things that are getting the hangers. And then I was smart enough, I brought this box, this collapsible box from Florida. Um, and then it has all of my um, my toiletries and, and et cetera. Um, because this is my bathroom. And I have moved the um, the the shitter, the cat shitter, next to the shitter because it is all natural litter and I can put it in the toilet. Plus it took only one one pee poop to 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 get them to make the corners look like this. I don't have a broom, so now that is another thing I need to add to the list. Add it to the list. I have my cats though. I'm not sure if you can see them. Super Larry is here. Say hi, Soaps. Soaps. There we go. And Mr. Momo. Say hi, Mr. Momo. Okay, bye bye. Well, we're going now to a language exchange event. It's Friday evening. It started at 8 o'clock. It's about 8 40 now. Um, we're actually, I'm at my new place. Obs. But we're going to walk past my old place to the new place, and that's great because then I can stop and get. I can't find. I can't find my lip gloss. I don't like this lip gloss. I don't like it at all. But I also guess I should tell you guys that this particular event is in a, um, a train station. I guess it's like the only bar in any train station in the Ciudad. I thought that was pretty cool. I haven't found the bar yet, but look how cool <laughs> this place is. Yeah, so here we are at the place where they said I should be. But I was turned away because they said that it was, this is some other event. And they said that the event is at another station, which is, um, like another 35 minute walk seems to be away from my my place so I'm now heading back because I'm too hungry to deal with such chazarai which is Spanish for chazarai so let's see what I end up eating I've literally had Spanish food once since we've been here. They've had food from all over the place, and tonight I'm doing gyro. Rich is not a fan of uh, of seafood, so. But tonight I'm walking home, and he, I stopped and got this, and um, this is the to-go. So I gotta, I gotta eat here. It's delicious. So I was able to eat enough of this to kind of put, to cover the top with the you know, the thing they put it in, and now it looks like my sandwich is a Klansman. Okay, guys, we're going shopping. We're going shopping in earnest. Bueno. <laughs> um, there is an Aldi just uh, 
2.4 kilometers away, I'm learning these things. Um, the supermercats are very basic and I suspect I could find everything that I want if I went through all of them and all of their back stock that they just keep out so you can see what it's, it's pretty amusing but I, I need to shop Turn right on Car de San Ramon. and also have to um, follow destructions so let's go shopping guys okay cafe bar Porto P wait did you notice I'm wearing a different shirt I'm wearing a mid sleeve and everyone else is wearing a sweaters yeah look a different shirt and different jeans <laughs> oh, guy just stopped so I could take a video of the Aldi. Well, that was freaking awesome. It's oil, the olive oil, and a spray. A spray. <laughs> Galeria, that's my name. Sea salt is 29 cents a kilo. And I guess finally, Lodada is that, like, Finer green, not sure, for 34 cents. It's almost worth traveling here to get salt. Liquor in the grocery stores. So, you know, liquor in the front, poker in the rear. Ayo! No way! Wait a minute. How much do you weigh? All Miss Moff is sat on a top of it eating their curds and whey. Bifidus, bifidus, bifidus. Huh, how do you like that? Guacamole. I'm calling this. You're gonna be sorry. It's gonna be heavier than you want it to be. Oi. Hey. Okay. So this, this is my first um, shop. Want to see what we bought? Let's go. Nuts and shells, olive oil and balsamic. Got some red onions. I got this over here, some stuff to, I'm going to make a, like a quinoa salad. Because um, I need some, I need some benchables. I got some Greek yogurt. I got cat food and beer. It's like 40% less at Aldi. That's a genuine savings. Esponjas, Paralimpiarlos, Plateus. Um, I think I showed you this. Orejones de Albaricoque. I don't know. Ears of apricots? I imagine apricots are albaricoque. Yeah, own a little jelly, in case they want a little toast and jelly, and, um, um, clothes wash, what is that stuff called? Um, clothes detergent, clothes detergent, that's what that's called, so, because I gotta do my, uh, laundry, I think I'll do that later today, so the total on that was 4403 which in doll hairs is about 48 or 49. So at least I can make something. And I'm going to have some cacahuete. <laughs> cacahuete. This is a funny word. Did I fail to mention la vaca que rie? This means the cow that laughs. I call them ha-ha moos. But I love these. But anybody else who has the cow that laughs knows that in America they've gotten very skinny. Look at the size of this shit. Oh, there's 16 of them. But I still think they're pro... There's 16 of them and they were like... two ninety nine. Yowza. Great price, Vaka. So my sister pointed this out to me. I went to Aldi, but these are from Trader Joe's. Keraro. I am um, a huge fan of Lady Dumpling. <laughs> All right, this is, you hungry, you come in. It's true, I'm way too skinny. Come get E our dumplings. So I got a 12 pack of dumplings because I got benchable this time and I don't think 
vegetable will be gross to reheat if I don't finish my vegetables. Okay, guys, I think I've got about as shway as I can get it, at least as much as I figured out. Tonight, we sleep on the bed, just living beings. No um, luggage flotsam. So, here we go. Well, here's the kitchen. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Tomorrow, I'm going to make that uh, quinoa thing. Um, look, I bought a Tupperware. <laughs> I bought a Tupperware and a, and a broom and dustpan as, as a, a, you know, a thing. Okay, and then um, here's my closet. It's not very pretty. But, um, and this is my next project. My bathroom stuff is a, it's a mess. Here's the bathroom. We got the, the litter box in the, in the shower. Super Larry and I actually went to the bathroom today. Um, this is my desk. We'll see if I ever use it as one. These chairs do not look very, I, I don't know if I'll ever even sit in them. Here's my desk. This is what I worked on the whole other day. These hooks by the door, so I was able to hang um, stuff like that. Now, there's my laundry. I'd intended to look at that. Again, I don't remember how many days I've been here. It's Saturday. We got here last Friday. So that's, I've been here like a hundred years, but I was looking like, oh, what am I going to do with this nonsense? It's got drawers, y'all. Look, it's a drawers. I put my under drawers and here I got my yogurt clothes and I got, um, I've got clothes in there. I'm very excited. So yeah, that's as feng shui as this apartment at least is getting for now. I've got one month here. Lately, we've been watching Top Gear in Espanol. All right, guys, it's bedtime, and it's time to end this video. I'll see you in another few days. Click like, hit the subscribe button, and um, and hit the bell. Okay, kiss, hug, bye bye.